So what's prompted these changes? Well, a few things. One is the experience of board members and the com um, comments that we get back from the community about ratings and the information they see at films and um, on their televisions. But also the Department of Communications did some significant research last year of over 2,000 people about classification and one in four people said they wanted more information about some of the uh, difficult themes that might be in um, films or also in computer games actually that they were going to see. So this really prompted us to have a look at the consumer advice which is the information that goes beside the classification symbol um, and look at ways that we could make that more informative for people. So some of these um, descriptions are you know, fairly specific things like even animated violence, mental health themes, animal cruelty. How do you set the bar for that? How do things get classified in this way? Well, it's, it's a bit of a science, I have to say. So when we're looking at a film or a computer game, we're looking for six key things. Sex, violence, nudity, drug use, themes and language, coarse language. Uh, and what, when we're developing the classification information, we look at what is the, um, which of those elements is the most impactful and that's the information that we give you alongside the ratings. So the ratings won't change. We, you'll still be familiar with G, PG, M, MA15+, R18+, uh, and a couple of other categories for, for adults. Um, but the information that's beside those um, symbols will be more informative and will let you make better choices about what you'd like to not see or what you do want to see for yourself or for your children. So this is only going to be before movies, so either in the cinema or on streaming services. What about expanding it to TV and uh, to gaming? Is that in the works? Absolutely, Emma. What we've done for the first time is really we've codified what we um, what our current practice is and we're sharing that across the broad industry with television networks streaming services um, computer game manufacturers here so that we really are trying to get a bit more consistency across all the different platforms because when people are watching something that they're not really necessarily taking notice of whether it's a television you know traditional television or whether it's a streaming service I um, mean obviously going to the movies is a different experience but we are trying to make the information more consistent across all all the different viewing platforms that people are accessing. When was the last time we saw changes to these classifications and is this something that's going to continue to evolve? Well, classification always evolves, Emma, because it has to keep, it has to reflect community standards and, and so as, as the community standards around things like language or um, you know, mental health issues, for example, change, then that then is um, the change that the that the classification board has to reflect in the in the classification information that it provides. So it really is an, um, a sort of slow evolving um, system that, that's been in place oh, for many, many years, but in its current form since the early 90s. And before people go to the movies or switch on their streaming services, can, can they find out before they actually get there about these classifications? Oh, absolutely. I mean, obviously, the, there's all sorts of information across the media about what's coming up at the cinemas and, and particularly online. You can go to the cinema website and that they'll give you some information about the about what's what you're going to see. But you can also go to our website, classification.gov.au, and there is information there which tells you the classification and the consumer advice. But it also now gives you more information against those six elements that I was talking about. And it will tell you, even if the consumer advice doesn't say coarse language, Language, it will tell you on the website whether there is in fact any course language um, that's in the film or the computer game that you're going to be um, playing or, or watching. Fiona Jolly, thank you very much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you.